Hi everyone, so today's tutorial is how to make these bows. Some of them are fall leather, some of them are sequins, uh, mermaid scales that I found at Hobby Lobby, uh, these little rolls of material. So first of all, you have to cut all of your pieces and for one sheet, I was able to cut four bows exactly. Now six and a half by two inches is the size of my bow piece, one inch if it has a tail and half inch for the center. Now when you're cutting out the center, I believe you have, you'll have a little bit more material than necessary, but the minimum that you need to cut it is two inches long. This was my tester bow and I'm just looking to see what size I need and I can tell I need exactly two inches for the center because it overlapped in the bow. And for the tail, you can make different sizes to your liking, but I prefer the four inch length the best. So like I said, you can get four bows out of this material. Um, you can go ahead and you can cut it in different directions, but it all depends on what kind of material, depending on like if the scales, if you want them to go in one direction. So just make sure that you pay attention to that when you're cutting out your bow pattern. So once you've cut your bows, you are going to have to go to a sewing machine. I stitched them together to keep everything in place and from falling apart. So I go ahead and I just fold it like so. And then I do a zigzag stitch. I widen my stitch so that it's able to hold both ends together. And I just stitch it all the way across. So you can see that's what it should look like and the bow should not be able to shift. And now you have your center line so you can go ahead and mold your bow into the way you'd like it. Now you can mark every quarter inch and then fold at each marking so that you get even pleats throughout your bow, which is what I did. And this one is one of the simple bows and this material is actually soft. It's not the stiff material. So I'm just able to add a little bit of glue to kind of hold it in place in the center. And then I just add my center piece around it. Like I said, two inches long was perfect. And you can just go ahead and close it. Now I use these alligator clips also from Hobby Lobby. And all you do is you just squeeze them through the center piece. And I just go ahead and I just glue the end tip in place because at some point if the bow is damaged, I like to reuse these alligator clips. So this material is a little bit thicker. It's glitter, um, fall, vinyl, I don't know what to call it, but it's a little bit thicker, it's a little bit harder. And you can actually do the same thing that I did and use hot glue to kind of keep the center in place. But you could also use some thread or string and wrap it around the center to tighten it and keep everything in place because I had to clip it on together to keep it from kind of popping open. So this is, the same soft fabric that's easier to work with and this one has a little bow tail and I just find the center point match it to my center point of my bow and then I'm able to wrap it around my with my center piece and you still only need two inches it doesn't take a lot and because you close it in the back you have the ability to kind of wiggle that little tail any way that you'd like to so same thing with this bow. Once you have it the way that you would like, you can go ahead and just place your alligator clip in the back and just glue it in place. You can actually leave it there if you want to, for it to hold your hot glue also while it dries. And that's it, that's the project. Pretty easy bows and a perfect project to use up those scrap materials. Thanks for watching.